Hey guys, welcome to the new session. Today we are going to discuss about Spring Retry. And we have also prepared a simple demo using our Spring Boot application. So that will help to you know like understand this retry module of Spring uh, very easily and efficiently. Please with me till end of this uh, video. So let's get, go ahead and understand why do we need re this retry module of Spring. So when, when do we need uh, this retry right so as this name suggests right so we we can you know like simply understand what is a retry so if we try something again if we try then that is a retry and why do we need that so in in, in our uh, in uh, any project that we are working in many scenario let's say you are invoking some backends so definitely in some point that backend you know like it might fails right so the servers might be down for some reason like network auto server down network glitch deadlock etc in this case usually we try to you know like retry the operation few times before we send any specific error to the client okay to make progressing more robust and less prone to failure right so for these are the you know like simple reason why we are looking for this particular module and this is very efficient and small module of spring which we can you know like easily understand right so spring retry from spring family is another utility module which can help us to handle the retry of the specific operation with standard fashion in spring retry all configuration simple annotation based so mainly we have three annotations one is enable retry in your spring boot application to enable the spring retry in your spring boot project main application file you need to annotate with enable with retry okay so that is one annotation then your application will be able to you know like start this retry efficient right and retryable to indicate any method to be candidate of retry right whichever the method is you know like is the candidate to retry the logic so that should be you know like annotated with at the rate retryable and the end one is at the rate recover to specify the fallback method so that we can use at the rate recover so this is just to you know like tell you guys this is moreover you know like similarly you could you know like sense it as if uh, one of the circuit breaker design pattern but this is not a circuit breaker design pattern it's simply a retry so uh, don't compare with hystrix that is a implementation of circuit breaker design pattern and this is a simple retry right to handle this failure so here this retryable it's very simple logic what i have kept it is whenever this uh, runtime exception happens okay and max attempt i have given four and the delay i have given 2000 milliseconds okay and i'm just you know like incrementing some counters and once this you know runtime exception is coming then again i need to retry then i'm printing this counters so that each time so we can you know like analyze how much retry this has uh, done okay so what you need to do is you just need to you know like uh, uh, invoke this uh, client service so this is your service and i have auto wear this particular bin which is this one simple retry service and uh, from this uh, bin i have just you know like invoke the retry when exception that method i have just invoked so this method whenever the exception happens i have kept it with retryable whenever this exception happens runtime exception i'm going to invoke it again so here it will be you know like this counter will be incremented and this is going to be get printed okay and at the end if still the four times max after attempt i have given i don't need to you know like put it in an infinite loop I have just kept it to the limit as four. So after four retry, if there is nothing happened, then it's going to, you know, like call here and uh, return as the error. 
okay and i have created a sample a uh, very simple you know like test class and from here i have that uh, retry client i'm going to invoke it okay hope you guys are ready so i just need to you know like run this j unit and let's see what happens so it's going to bootstrap my particular applications and uh, and it's going to you know like invoke the retry method just initializing it started uh, um hitting the retry method you can see so my j unit runs very well so here is the success and here is the logs that you know like tell you the counter one is this is the first request this is the second request and everything is you know like uh, in between uh, two seconds delay and still it didn't happen again we are getting so we have you know like uh, given the uh, recoverable from that also we have thrown this error so that is get, getting printed so in your application whenever you require to do this retry go ahead and do this operation and that's that will make your life very easy hope you guys understood very easily if you guys i'm going to you know like upload this project to github so that you can download it and you can refer it and um, please subscribe to the channel like the videos put your comments if you guys need anything else thank you so much for watching this video